Good morning guys, Mama Larger here with Rooney. And we're at my doctor's appointment. Um, I have a few things to tell the doctor today. I have to tell him about my mucus plug loss and my secretion that, well, my excessive secretion this morning. So I'm really hoping that I hear something, but, and we're also hoping that he allows me to be, what's it called? Induced earlier. But I don't think he's gonna let me do that. Here we are. They're gonna check to see if my service is dilated. And I'm a little nervous because um, last time Dr. Uh, Cahill told me that that really hurts. So I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah. No, you are. You definitely are. Well, next week, right? No. Wait. No, you're, o you're over, you're already 41 weeks. Mm-hmm. Who said next week? So they said they're going to induce me on Sunday night. You should. Who told you that? Um, you're going to induce this week. You're 41 weeks already. Right? You do the today. It, it was the 19th. Yeah. 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 Done. You get one week. You're not going to sleep. You're not going two weeks. So when, so when are they going to induce me? Wednesday night. Okay. Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, two weeks. Who told you that, Kato? No, I think I he was thinking maybe. Was... No, he had your date wrong, maybe. Play back. He put it on he put his finger on the date twice. Uh -huh. I'm looking at it right. You do August nineteenth, right? Yes. Yeah. Done. Forty one weeks. Oh. That's tomorrow night. Cool. Yeah. That's good. Did you ask him for that Sunday? No. 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 Uh, we went in earlier. No, you're done. Wednesday night. So how does that work? I don't know. I'm not a real doctor. <laughs> 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 yes, ma'am. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, it's a lousy picture. You're not going to get good. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen a good picture in a while. You know what? It's not a photogenic baby. <laughs> That's no, no, too bad because we're photographers. <laughs> When it comes out, it will be. That's all this is. That's all I care about is right there. Okay. And the baby's moving all right and stuff? Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, like what time do you think I'd go in? Um, why does it usually take so sometimes long? it depends because it why, does it, why? why does it take so long for the um, cervix to write? Like, like, does it take? To have a baby? No, no, no. Because you, cause you well, said. Well, we don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know how long it'll take. One of the side effects of putting the cervidil in is you're going to labor. <laughs> so why? That's what I want. But sometimes it, do, it, may, it just, it's an overnight thing. You're leaving it for like like 12 hours okay. and it softens it and then you start the Pitocin, okay? Um, how long is it going to be before you have the baby? I have no idea. It could take a while. You know, it can go fast, it could take a while. Are you having any contractions now, nothing? Just uh, here and um, there. All right. But I'm not even going to examine you because it really doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear that? I don't know if you heard that, but apparently I'm gonna be induced tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna be induced tomorrow. I have to call a number at four o'clock and make an appointment for that night. You, you have the number, dear? Yeah. So that means that there's gonna be a baby here by Thursday or Friday. Oh man, I like honestly i'm excited but i'm nervous because it's actually happening so i asked him about the c-section and everything I asked him what my likelihood is of getting a c-section and he said honestly it's zero or a hundred and um i asked what the difference is between induction and natural and he said it doesn't matter either way you're gonna have a baby and uh, it's just so exciting so that's it guys there's gonna be a baby here soon Tell her. No, she has, she's just gonna, we're gonna make an appointment tomorrow. She has to go to the hospital so they can, um, induce. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, because she's already a week. Yeah. So you would wait until tomorrow? No, no, tomorrow we have to call. We have to call tomorrow at 4 p.m. And then um, they were gonna probably make an appointment probably 7, 8 at night. We go to the hospital, they, they do it for her, and then hopefully Thursday or Friday we be done with her. No, they're gonna put something inside of me that's supposed to soften my cervix that takes about 12 hours and then in the morning Thursday morning they're gonna give me Pitocin and that should start the contractions so 
Either Thursday night or Friday, I'll have the baby. That's okay. Yeah. But everything okay? Yeah, everything's yeah, everything good. So why didn't we put the training nice? Too much? No, huh? the, the, I think they made a mistake. He looked at the wrong No, day. he didn't make a mistake, Rudy. He, he just wanted the baby to come naturally. That's why he wanted to wait as long as possible. But he's already eight pounds. I can't wait anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah but they say, they say that he's, oh. he's healthy, so if he comes, he's just going to be a healthy boy. Everything's going to be fine. How much did Rudy weigh? Seven something. Seven foot in ounces. Oh, that's close to eight. <laughs> You're fat. <laughs> no. I think that one. <laughs> I can believe that. Yeah, he said I was eight. He was eight pounds last week. Wow! Yeah. Like the baby is is going to get more. Yeah, yeah that's, I know. That's why he needs to come on now. She was not gonna make it till Monday again. No, not Monday. No, 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 no. That's it's when it, he would be born. Be, that's when they were gonna do it. Yeah, she wasn't gonna make it till. Monday. But is the baby okay? Baby's fine. Baby's yeah. too happy. But is Larry okay? No. No. <laughs> no. That's the way it is. <laughs> yeah. So tomorrow we're going tomorrow night. Tomorrow, tomorrow night. You know, I've just been sitting here, just thinking about the fact that after tomorrow I won't be pregnant anymore. And honestly, it's kind of making me a little sad. I don't know what that's about. I'll blame it on the hormones. I feel like laughing. I feel like crying. I feel like I don't know. I'm having mixed feelings about this because number one, it's not natural. And I really wanted to have Jaden naturally, you know, like, not without an epidural, I mean like, you know, to have the labor come on naturally and to give birth vaginally and all that stuff. And there's no telling what's going to happen now, but I just thank God that I have a very, very healthy baby inside of me. I never in a million years thought that I'd be able to produce a healthy human being especially because I myself am not the most healthy human being so I am excited nervous I'm scared but uh, most of all I'm just grateful that I was able to be on this journey and that um, God really did come through for me so that's it guys this is my last bump date for the year i want to thank you guys for keeping up with me and watching me and everything and i just can't wait to continue to show you updates of what Jaden's doing um and then finally my next pregnancy right <laughs> so it's been real guys leave me something nice in the comments Leave me like a quick prayer or, you know, just, I don't know, anything. Just say something nice. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.